more like springtime out there. Soak it up because a big cool down is on the way. And on the eastern plains, we're seeing a mix of 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And up in the high country, a mix of 30s and even some low 40s. Gunnison still chilly, 7 degrees and 41 in Grand Junction this afternoon. Our first alert weather watcher, Phil Curry, reporting 58 degrees east of Franktown this afternoon. On the satellite and radar, plenty of sunshine, clear skies over the metro area. Starting to see some light snow in southwest Colorado, even a few light sprinkles down in southern Colorado. But we're tracking two different storm systems. One will pass through Colorado later today, bringing snow mainly to the southern mountains, possibly some rain to the eastern plains tomorrow morning. And then storm number two arrives tomorrow, and that's going to bring snow statewide, windy conditions, and also some very cold temperatures for the middle of the week. As we time things out for you for this storm system, tonight we could start to see some snow in the southern mountains. Overnight, that'll move to the central mountains. Not expecting much from storm number one. Tomorrow morning, storm number one could also bring some light rain, possibly a wintry mix to the eastern plains, but we'll start out tomorrow dry here in the metro area. It won't be until tomorrow evening that snow will move into the front range. Right now it's looking between five and six. So if you do have plans tomorrow evening for Valentine's Day, you could expect some snowy conditions out there tomorrow night. We'll see snow continue Tuesday night through Wednesday throughout the front range, southern Colorado, eastern plains and throughout the high country before that storm system moves out. So we already have a winter storm watch in place. This goes into effect tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday evening. This is for almost the entire southern half of the state. It does not include the Denver area, but it does include Castle Rock. So south of the city, that's where we're expecting some of the higher totals from this next storm system. Albert County, Douglas County, we could see three to six inches of snow. Here in the metro area, about one to four inches. And as you go to the north, we're seeing less and less snow. So Fort Collins, Greeley, maybe about an inch. And as you go to the southeast along the I-70 corridor, out to the Kansas state line, we could pick up seven inches of snow. And really, down in the southern mountains, that's where we could pick up up to two feet of snow in some places, especially along Wolf Creek Pass. So travel expected to be very difficult. Before we get there, though, it's going to be really warm today in the upper 50s, low 60s throughout the Front Range. On the eastern plains, we'll see a mix of 40s, 50s, and 60s. And up in the high country, spring-like skiing conditions today in the 30s and low 40s. So a very nice Monday. Tonight, we'll cool off into the 30s throughout the I-25 corridor. Eastern Plains, teens and 20s, as well as up in the high country, 29 overnight in Grand Junction. On the super seven day forecast, it is going to get cold as that system passes through on Wednesday. A daytime high of only 20 overnight seven. So very cold start on Thursday. And then the storm moves out. We'll see a nice warm up by the end of the week and into next weekend. We